I'm Justin, this is Brickwright, Brad's behind the camera, we're back on the Titanic project and the next stage of this video we're going to be setting up string lines and putting in the base, so see you in a minute. We've got this string line set up now, so this is going to be our final destination. Up there on the existing path is that other part where we're going to be going. All the falls are coming this way like that, so we'll sort the drainage out, so stay tuned for the drainage bit, but what we're going to be doing now, there's 300 millimetres there, we're going to be filling up to 200 millimetres, which is here. Uh, we're going to do that in two stages, 100 mil, whack it, another 100 mil, whack it, and then the base will be done right the way through. Top tip, that gas pipe that we broke, that's now fixed, is underneath the airlock. Let me show you. So there he is. So what you want to do is get some sand. And this is just called blinding. So you just put in the sand over the top so that when that scalpins, when the MOT type 1 go on top and you whack it, you're not puncturing or you're not giving the stones in that the opportunity to, to puncture it. So... There we are, top tip for you. We move all that now, all the way around. Brad's going to put it in the wheelbarrow, and all that is going to be put in for the base up there. Right, I don't know if you can hear me, I'll give it a go. This is the first layer of the MOT Type 1 going in now. We've got roughly about 100 mil of scalpins in there. Brad will whack it up, down, left, right, in and out, shake it all about, and uh, that'll be the first layer in, and then the second layer will go on top and I'll be whacked again, so there we go. Right, so the gas board left this protective or warning tape, basically, it just says, caution, gas main below. So there's a gas main below there, so we put a warning tape on, so anybody in 50 years time thinks that driveway's crap, who, who the bloody hell did that? Brad, mm. you done it Brad. Yeah. and they want to dig it up then obviously it's a warning tape so that people will know in future um that there's a gas pipe below it wish they'd done it for us brad don't you yeah i well, we wish they put tape down for us would have been much better wouldn't it yeah there we are right we're going to get the second load into this now we've done the first one as you saw the 100 mil now we're doing the second one so yeah let's get on with it then so what we want to do we've got this line back up now look so what we want to do we want to get 90 mil below the line so if you go your 90 mil there that's where we need to bring the base up to. So there's still a fair old whack to go in up there, yeah? But we are doing it in layers. So we'll get on to the second stage now. And then once that's in, we've got to whack that. And then the base will be in ready for rock and roll, Brad, won't it? Mm. Happy days. So um, let's get on with it, shall we? Yeah. Right, Fraser's back in, he's been ill. We've all been bloody ill, but there we are, he's back in now. So he's just whacked the hell out of this. Up, down, left, right, in, out, shake it all about. So that's done. We put the line back up that you've seen previously. We've measured down off that. We've got 90 mil all the way off, all the way up. And then all we did then was just level from this side over to this side with the eight foot level that we've got and made sure it was okay. Obviously we've taken the measurements with the dumpy level and stuff. So this is rock solid now. So we're over onto the other side, onto the next bit. So follow us over there. 
Right, so here we go. We got the Taran weed membrane in now. This is like a a really thick weed membrane. So it's a really good quality weed membrane, this one. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put these, let me show you, we're gonna put these limestone chippings. If you can get a pea gravel, even better. But do you know what? This stuff is, is good enough. It's a clean stone, 20 mil chipping. The pea gravel would be perfectly round, so the water will go through it a lot easier. But you know, it's what you can get. So we've got this from the quarry. So that will go into that section. We will be doing this bit as well. So we'll overlap that, we'll show you. And we're gonna be doing this section underneath the bay window up around here as well. So we'll get some chippings in there. Then we'll wrap it up like a Christmas present. And uh, when we put the turf or the topsoil on top for the flower bed, all the water will go through and it'll act like a French drain and a soak away. So there we go. Let's get on with it, bro. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, man. Whoa. Just a bit carried away, he does. Right, let me show you what we've done with the levels for this section. So this is the section we're talking about here. This is the driveway section I'm stood on, leading into the patio where Brad is and the flower beds, okay? So what we've done, we've measured out to where the flower beds, uh, the, the, Christ, just gave your words out, where the driveway needs to come, and it's about here. So right where my finger is, that's the level point. So we've leveled off the existing tarmac drive, because that's roughly where our new, tar uh, our new um, decorative stone drive is going to go. So we've leveled off that point there. We've brought that across to that peg, and then we've transferred it from that peg over onto this peg, and then from that peg over onto that peg. So in theory, that peg there is level to that driveway over there and then what we've done then is brad sorry don't want to make you giddy <clears throat> brad's finished point of the patio if you can see this face brickwork on the house where it ends and then it goes into the uh the the other brickwork underneath the commons underneath so if you put that line on there brad so that's our finished destination for our patio and our drive so what you do now is you measure down underneath there let me get down on my hands and knees so show you so that measurement from that blue line down to these chippings we just put in is still 300 mil so we've still got a long way to go to build the levels up so we'll carry on and that's the principle of how we're leveling we've, we've checked that with the client we told the client that the patio is going to have a severe fall on it but he's not looking to put a table and chairs on it it's just aesthetics for a flower bed and to make it look nice out the front of his house but we can't do anything about it because we'd have to change the level of the drive, which we can't do. So we're kind of stuck, Brad, aren't we? Mm. So if you get in this position, just check with your client. He's happy. He's happy to do it. So we're doing it. And I'm sure, well, I know it'll look lovely. So there we go. A little less than few on the lines. We'll crack on. Whew. Right. Three ton of stone in there, in that top section. We'll wrap it all up. Now we're a little bit short of that top section. We're gonna to have to get some more. Brad's fault again. What have you got to say for yourself? Not my fault. Not his fault. Right, so we're gonna wrap all that up down here now. Same up there. I'm gonna go for a haircut, Bradley. I'm going for a haircut and a nose trim. It's about time we had a haircut. You're haircut. Gonna You're gonna have the muse Haircut, well. nose trim, and, ear, and ears trimmed. No, no, I want them waxed. Oh, you want them waxed? I need them waxing on. I'll wax my nose and ears as well. There we are. The joys of getting older. If anybody's in their 20s, you've got all that to look forward to. See you tomorrow. Had the haircut yesterday. What do you reckon of my haircut, Brad? He said it's absolute crap. You told me it's crap, didn't you? I think I agree with him. What a load of crap. Look like a right knob. Yeah, right, Brad. You ready to rock and roll? It's like me getting out of bed in the morning, mate. You just yeah, don't want to happen. Yeah. There we are, right, let's get on with him then. So it's another day and we're off. Just a quick one on this. This is called a dumpy level. This is a Stanley dumpy level. I think I bought this, God knows, bloody years ago. I must have paid about 150 quid for it. Anyway, what it does, it, it's like a laser level. A lot of you guys, the pros out there now, use laser, level, laser levels. But because I'm an old git, 
and I'm stuck in my ways and this works perfectly well what you do is you set that up on there I don't know if you can see it it's trying to focus in that round dot in in here there's a round dot with like a spirit level in the middle of it like a bubble you've got to get that in between there and that means then you can rotate this wherever you want and that will stay level and then you look through you, I can't do it because you're never going to be able to see in there but you look through this thing there with your eye and then you look through onto the staff and then there's two little lines in that level like um like a like a line going across horizontally and a, a sight line for a gun. yeah like a sight for a gun well done Brad and then what that does it transfers those lines onto here so when you're reading this for example so say that there now is 1.4 so you go 1.4 and then every one of these is 10 mil so 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 so that's 50 and that's 50 so if it was if it was there if it was on top of that line there it'd be one meter 450 so you take a measurement one meter 450 to there and then brad go i'll just do it brad brad walks down there this is the measurement we wanted we wanted to know what that was on this brickwork we want to get the driveway level to the brickwork and our final resting place for our drive over there we wanted it level between the two so then what we do we point that level over towards brad's level and say for example brad's staff say for example um the the gun sights came to here we would know say the first one was 1.4 and the second one's 1.1 1 .1 meter 450 we then know that there's a 50 mil difference between each one but what were we brad we were 17 mil out weren't we hmm. My boots in me. What? I can't move. You filled all my boots in. Oh, You'll have to get a digger up and get me out. Yeah. You leave me here, didn't you? But a horrible, horrible man. You see the person I got to work with now. Mm. I always said you weren't a very nice person, Brad. And that cause, it's because I'm not. <laughs> right, let's get the rest of it in then. My turn, jump on the digger and spread it all out. We're over this side now, over the other side, drives over there, this is the patio side. So what we've done, look, just to get you in the picture, is our patio, what we've done, come close to me. What we've done, is off this level, we put a spirit level on here, from this level here, and the spirit level is just off bubble. So we put a mark on the wall there, which coincidentally, is two courses lower than DPC. There's your DPC there. You've got two courses lower, which is, should be right, to the top of that gully. Transfer the level round there. So Brad's holding it on that level. That's the string line where the patio is going to be coming down. So we've got a full coming down there. Brad's got that. Our final destination down this end, if you follow me down. This here is the final destination for our driveway. That's that there, and you've seen on the other videos, that's levelled off the tarmac, coming across level off there. So that's how we found our starting point and our finishing point. So that's it. So what we've got to do now, measure down off our line. So we've already put this in, it's already 100 mil underneath here, and we've got 300 mil left to make up. So by the time we put the driveway system on here, you're going to have more than adequate enough base underneath here. To, to be able to park the cars on. So this is our final level. So we've got loads to bring up on this. We'll have to whack this in stages, we'll do that. Come here, Frank. This is our section of um, drainage, like a French drain for the water to drain into the flower bed. This is gonna be a flower bed. That's gonna be a flower bed as well up there. And then when we come up with this bit, now, now we go into a patio. 
So what we want, the patio slabs are 22 mil thick. So you generally want about a 30 mil bed underneath your patio. So if we go 50, 55 mil underneath there, we're in the money. So we've got 100 mil there to make up. So we've still got 50 mil to make up there. And when we come up here, we've got about 70 mil there. And then there's more to make up at the top. So the boys are going to be bringing it up on the diggers and the dumpers and stuff. I'll let them have a go again. And as we're doing it, we'll uh, show you more. Clients asked us to do a little bit of extra work on this. So all this is coming off and we're going to be changing the levels. So we're going to put you onto a pipe plate. So there we are, garden done. The reason why you wanted this done is because was, there was going to be a massive dip in the middle. So take the grass off, replenish it with topsoil as much as you, as far as the client wants to go. Because if you level it up all the way, it's going to be a mountain of topsoil in here. So we need to find out uh, at some point exactly how far they want to go with it. And obviously we'll accommodate that. But what I was doing look, is just taking the top section off. And basically you're just trying to get it like turf. So you don't want to take it off. Um, too thick so that's exactly like a roller turf would come there and pretty much managed to do most of it yeah there's a couple of thick areas that I've taken off but the general amount of it look we managed to scrape it off so that you can't argue with that that is literally like a roller turf would come so we haven't done a bad job of it so didn't want to take too much off like I said so there we are time lapse over job done on to the next bit yeah then really quickly as soon as we're trying to be real so this is the list i've got so let's put as much as like the boys are out there now so you can just about see brad up there in the distance fraser's loaded him up and he's taking that up to the patio that we just showed you and, and they're getting on with that me now running a business this is my list for the day so i've got to phone all these people back so, up. it's not just about doing all that out there and getting that organized out there you've got many other jobs and many other things to do as well and uh yeah, it's difficult, isn't it? So I thought I'd share it with you. Try and make this as quick and as painful as possible, but I want to explain it to you because I want to show you everything. So here we go then. So we're stood in the driveway, right? So I don't know if you can see it on this camera, on the camera, but we've got orange line down here, yellow line up there, blue line up, but it's all square and it all that all dictates the squares where the driveway's gonna go. Plus it also dictates the falls of the patio where that's gonna go. Plus, it also dictates where the flower bed's going to go and it dictates where the patio is going to go. So, we've done all that. So, we spent all morning up to 12 o'clock getting everything meticulously squared and all the rest of it. So, I'm going to show you really quick how we do it. So, follow me up here, quick, Brad. Where are you going, Just? I <laughs> I was going to Torquay then for a bit, wasn't I? Yeah. It's nice down in Torquay. Anyway, so what we've done, look. We've got a mark there that we said to you the other day, and we won't go into why, but that's where our patio is going to start. So we've got a blue line. Can you see that blue line there, Brad? Mm. We've got that blue line going all the way down to the area that you know, right the way down there, which we've showed you, that peg down the bottom, down there. So we got that. That is our fall, right? But then what we've done is we've squared that off the house. We've used the 345. We've squared that. It's Pythagoras theorem. So you measure out... It's either three meters, you can do three foot, so you can just go three meters, four meters, and where the two join in the middle, that means you're square off the house. So have a look at Pythagoras theorem. So we've got that going down there, that's done, that's square, that's to our level. Brad set this in yesterday to the correct levels off the string line, so we know the basis, right? That's that one. Come down here. Whew. Right, this one, this yellow line going across here, that one is touching that line here and then our final resting point for our patio over this side is this brickwork here so we're a slight fall haven't we brad mm. coming this way like that not ideal but we can't do nothing about it so that is dictating our patio fall so that's what that line is for so come down here now brad 
client wants a certain measurement of the house to equate four slabs plus a flower bed and all the rest of it which we won't go into until later so that line is that line there that dictates that so what we've done to that is we've squared that four meters 820 off the house both sides so that's now squared off the house we've put three four five on this line here three meters four meters join the two up and as long as you've got five meters you just pull your lines over that square come down here brad this line it's a seven long seven meter long driveway so we've measured off the first line i just showed you down to this line seven meters transferred that over to there we've taken our measurements off that because that's level off the drive over there it's getting a bit complicated now isn't it and then we've done our three four five off this on that corner and then we've got 4.8 meters for the width of the drive and then we've done three four five off there as well but then the other thing we've done because that line back where i said to you up there is, is falling down to the brickwork if you come here brad what we've done that is we've set this line up so when that line goes in um it touches this line which is running off that line so that line is dictated by this line which is touching that line up there so it's all a little bit complicated but we know what we're doing don't we mm. and then as a final check we've done the diagonal so we've di measured from there right into the corner i think it was six meters 845 mm. and then when we first measured it we were about i don't know 25 mil out yeah so we had to tweak tweak it and mess about with it do the three four pipes again and we got it all sorted out <laughs> the diagonals both both ways didn't we mm. so that's where we are so i do apologize if that's a bit complicated but we got it all set up now what we're going to do now is we're, we're going to whack this we're going to set our levels up we've got another little mess about going on we're going to put path edgings in or pin curbs as you guys call them all the way around and all we've got to do now is just lay to the line lay all the pin curbs all the way around to the line and we know it's all going to be right so the this morning's effort was worth it because all the patio now will come off square off the pin curbs we're putting in so job done there we go right here we are then all the path edgings are in now all happy days all that's worked out we've measured it um, numerous times and it's all working out right so it's friday we're going home just the end of this series so please like and subscribe any questions leave them in the comments below have a great weekend see you monday